In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows. So if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel is all about DIY to save a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask for in turn for making this video. So we're gonna install this window real fast, so let's get started. The tools that I'm gonna to be using to install this window is a four foot level, a hammer, a utility knife, a tape measure, a caulk gun with silicone caulk, roofing nails, and these nails are inch and a half galvanized. And then I got flashing tape and a step ladder. And if you need to purchase any of this stuff, I'll put a link in the description below so you can make that purchase. The window that I'm going to be installing is a vinyl window that's for new construction. And how you can tell it's for new construction, we got this nailing flange here. So if you're going to be putting a window in an old house or a remodel, you're not going to have a nailing flange on it. So it has a built-in J channel here for siding as well. And this is a single hung window, meaning only the bottom pane or the bottom part of the window moves up and down to where the top part of the window is stationary. So since this is a single level, it's easy to clean the windows from the outside. So there's no use to have a double hung, a double hung window, the top pane would fold into the house or into the garage so you can clean it from there. And also this is gonna have a six inch jam because we have two by six walls in this case. So if you have a two by four wall, you're gonna to have to get the jams that's for two by four walls. And that's all there is to the actual window. Let's get this thing installed. The first thing I need to do is cut the house wrap to where this window is gonna be placed. And there's several ways of cutting the house wrap. You could cut an X shape from corner to corner. You can cut an inverted Y, come down, then go to each corner. But in this case, I find it best if you just cut straight down the middle, then cut flat at the top and bottom, and then just fold it into the opening. Let me demonstrate this. First, I'm gonna cut right across the top of the window opening. And then I'm gonna cut straight down the middle. And then I'm just gonna cut straight across at the bottom. And now, as you can see, we got two flaps here. All I gotta do is fold this in like so. Then I'm gonna place a nail here to hold it inside of the opening. You can also use staples or cap nails for this as well, but it's convenient just to use the roofing nail because you already have those in your nail pouch. Now in the top corners of the opening, we need to cut about six inches of the house wrap on an angle so we can flip it up to install the window. And now I'm just going to tack it into place using a nail to hold it until we get the window installed. I'm now going to use the flashing tape and in order to get the distance in which I got to cut it, I'm just going to hold it about three or four inches on one side of the opening and then about to the other like so. And I know I need to cut it right here. So in order to cut it, all we got to do is use a utility knife or even a pair of scissors in order to cut it. Now that I got a strip of it cut, I'm just going to start by peeling off the back of the tape in order to get it started on this side of the window, and then we're going to press it into place. And now when we do this, I'm going to split the difference. Half of it's going to be over the wall, then the other half is going to be over the opening like so. And now I'm just going to cut straight up the sides of the window opening and fold this in two on top of the bottom of the opening. So I'm simply going to take my utility knife and cut right up the flashing on each side here. And we're going to fold that right into the bottom of the opening like so. Now I'm going to take my hand and just kind of seal it onto the side of the structure and onto the bottom of the window opening. And they actually make a roller you can use to roll this to seal it. But if you don't want that little extra expense, you can just place it with your hand if you want to. I now got to take pieces of my flashing tape and seal each corner here from the inside of the opening to the outside of the structure. In order to flash the bottom corners, I first place the flashing tape up where it's going to be placed. And then I get the length in order in which I got to cut it. And I'm just going to take my utility knife and place it on the bottom of the opening and cut it. And now that I got my length, I'm going to cut two of them because the other side is going to be the exact same length. And this stuff cuts really easy with a utility knife. And after I get my length cut, I'm going to just peel the back off just like a piece of tape. And then place it right on the bottom corner and around the side of the opening like you see here. 
and then work it into the opening to get a good seal and do that on both sides of the opening and you'll notice as it gets warmer this stuff gets more sticky so over time it's going to create a nice waterproof seal right here at the bottom of the opening and you won't have to worry about it for years to come and another trick instead of using your hand you can also just take the roll and kind of just seal it like so as well Oftentimes, windows come with a board screwed to the bottom of them so you can sit them up without damaging the nailing flange. So what's holding this board is just a couple screws, one here and one here. So we just got to remove that before we sit the window up into the opening. I'm now going to use my silicone caulk and go around the whole opening of the window and make sure we stay within about a half inch to an inch of the edge so that way it seals to the nailing flange. And a small little detail that may be helpful is put a little bead right here in this crease to cover up any cracks that might be there. It's now time to sit the window into the opening. And just so you're aware, the rough end opening is actually about a half inch bigger than the actual window, so it should sit in the place very easy. So now you definitely need a helper here. He's going to get on this side of the window. I'm going to get on this side. We're going to sit it right up into place. Okay, we'll sit the bottom end first. Now with him holding the window into place, I'm gonna go on the inside and make sure we're sitting perfectly center of the opening. As you can see here, if you take a look, we got about a quarter inch here. Then if we come over here, we got a little bit bigger of a gap. So we're gonna slide it this way just a little bit. All right, as you can see our crack here and our crack here is about the same. You always wanna go at the bottom and not the top because the top's where we're gonna to have to adjust to make sure we're nice and plumb. So now we gotta go outside with our level. Now that we're sitting directly in the center of the opening, I'm gonna place my four foot level here on the bottom and see if it needs adjusted and we're sitting perfectly level. So now we can put a nail in the bottom side of this nailing flange to hold it from moving left to right. And I'm just gonna use my roofing nails and place one right into one or the other side of the nailing flange on the left or right side. So now that the window is held for moving left or right at the bottom, we're going to check for plumbness, and plumbness is on the sides. So let's take a look here. And we're actually setting perfectly plumb. But if you weren't setting plumb, you'd have to shift the window left or right in order to get it plumb. And also what you can do is check for squareness. So what you can do is hook your tape at the top corner of the window, measure down to this corner, and whatever measurement this is should be the same measurement going from this corner to this, the bottom corner. And we are exactly the same measurement. So we know the window setting square, plumb, and level. Here's a window sill that was not level. So as you can see, I had to shim this up to get this nice and level. And in return, it made the window nice and plumb and it operates just fine right there. So you do may have to do that sometimes. So have a pack of shims on hand as well. Now, before I totally nail the window off, I'm gonna have him go in there and open up the window to make sure it's not sitting on a bind or anything like that. Cause sometimes you might have to adjust them a little bit out of plumb in order for them to operate better. But we're gonna go ahead and test this one, make sure we're good to go. And this one functions really easy. So we know we have to be setting very plumb or way it's supposed to be. So we, now we're gonna continue nailing off the window. And when you're nailing this off, here is the nailing slot right here, for example. And whenever you place your roofing nail in, make sure you don't angle it towards this J channel's lip because you can hit it and bust it pretty easy. If anything, you wanna slightly angle it away from the window itself. So that way you don't have a tendency of hitting the side. So about like this. And then you wanna make sure you hit every nail hole. And sometimes you can get away with hitting every other one, but for the technicality here, let's hit every nail hole. I'd like to talk a little bit about how much this window cost and how much the flashing tape is. The window itself costs $400 for this three foot wide and five foot tall window. And the flashing tape will cost about 30 to $40 a roll, depending on where you buy it. Now that the window's nailed off, I'm gonna resume with the flashing tape now I'm gonna go up each side, up about three inches above the top of the window and about three inches below the bottom of the window. 
In order to get the second side, I'm just going to hold it up to the first one I just measured and then just get the length that way. I'm just going to unpeel a little bit of it and start at the top and work my way down. Whenever you tape it to the window and the wall, you want to make sure you go over the window about a quarter inch from the edge or so and then right over the side of the structure while you're removing the back of the tape. And then we're going to smooth it out to make sure we have a good seal. And again, you can use the back of the roll of flashing or the roller or anything it takes to get this to seal to the structure. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side of the window. As you have probably noticed, flashing the window is one of the most time consuming yet important parts of the install. Now before I put the house wrap down over the window, I'm going to install a strip of the flashing right across this top, just like we did the sides. But we're going to want to make sure we go about flush to each side of the flashing on each side of the window. I'm now going to flip down the house wrap over top of the window. And as you can see, I need to trim off some of this house wrap so it isn't sticking that far down. And now I just got to cut pieces of flashing tape to go over each corner. This window now is totally installed from the exterior as far as we are sealed and flashed and our siding will go right into this channel in order to trim it out and make it look really nice. Now let's go on the inside of the window explain the final touch-ups there. The details of finishing up the inside of the window consist of insulating this crack that's around the window jam. And in order to insulate that, you can use spray foam insulation or you can simply just tuck fiberglass insulation into this crack as well. And also, I'd like for you to note, this jam is sticking out a half inch past the wood. That's because the drywall is going to butt up to it, then it'll be flush with the drywall, then your trim is going to go right over that. And that's all there is to installing the window. If you want to see how I'm going to install this door, check out this video. It'll help you out.